Hello, this is Helen Schaefer, bringing out the artist in you. I am, How are you? I'm so excited. Because you know what? Today we're going to work on the Red Rover Art Challenge. I want to say hello to everybody out there. And This is Dietrich Schaefer. And... Helen Schaefer. <laughs> Did you forget your name? No, I was okay. waiting for you to say it. Oh, that's well, right. I can say that, Helen Schaefer. Yes. <laughs> We're going to show you various things today. First of all, I painted the wash, and then I decided to paint a rose on top of the wash. And did you sketch it out first, or no. you did not? Okay, I did so not. it's a complete, out of your mind road. That's right. That's exactly okay. right. Okay, so the picture's all up here. <laughs> yes. Very good. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> enough roses in my life. Do you mean your husband gave you roses now and then? Yes. Oh, isn't he a nice guy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is a wonderful okay. man. Okay, that's so, enough now with all this. Let's get started. Yes, I'm going to show you how to paint the rose using the transparent colors. Okay, let's get started then. This is what Helen started with. And this is where she was when the camera was turned on. So now, let us tell you how she got there. Do you remember when I forgot to turn the camera on? Do you remember that? Yes, I do. You yes. set everything up for me and then I started painting. And I was so in my zone. I didn't, well, you know how it is when I get in my zone. Yes, you Nothing. forget everything else. I forget and hours go by and this type of thing. And then all at once, you came into the room. Yes. So you looked to see if the camera was on. Right. And then you said you weren't recording. So you took the wash that you created in the earlier video and used that to begin your painting. Right. Remember I put those spots in and everything? Well, those yes. spots, those highlights, you can actually see by looking at here, there are some highlights on this rose. Can you see them? Yes, I can see them. All right, the, the, that's very good. Yeah, okay. And then I decided to uh, take some of the same color, the Prussian blue that was diluted, and put another wash on top of that, around it, that around, oh, around it, around, around the rose, around the rose, okay. and I just haphazardly and, just and kind so of brushed it in. That's why the lower section looks darker than it does on the wash. That's exactly right. Okay. Yep. And I did that a couple of times just to, so that it. I decided well, this should look like water. Okay. okay. Good idea. Okay. All right. Does it look like water? Yeah, it kind of does. Wow. Well, so a, ro a rose growing in water. That's pretty good. I know, in the front of the water. Oh, in, oh okay. Okay. Or you could have somebody going down to the beach holding a rose. Like you could be holding the rose and planning to give it to me. Yes, of course. Well, there you go. Yes. All, All right. right. So that's settled. Okay. Okay. Then what I did after I put that wash, the blue wash, onto the water... I decided to just quickly just sketch in the uh, stems of the rose, and uh, I used the olive green. And how did you get the lighter effects versus darker effects of the olive green? I made a puddle of neutral tint and transparent yellow. Oh, okay. And I made a puddle of that, and then I decided to... I. In my, this is all done in my head, my memory. Right, okay. And roses always have three leaves, Right? Right, yeah. Okay. So I went with the three leaves, and I know how, they're, uh, how they look. And then I kind of put, there's a little saw, like on the edge of the rose, and I kind of put that in a little bit. I don't know okay. if you can see. It doesn't make any difference. Okay, all right. So anyway, that's what I did. And I believe I put a couple washes on. But each time, you have to let it dry. Well, yeah, it looks like certainly there's a, uh, there's a leaf to the left. Uh, that kind of goes down and then right over the top of that is another leaf so obviously you would have had to paint that after you got the first one on there this well there's right that's there. not another leaf that's actually a shadow oh that's a shadow oh okay yeah. well, well is that okay good. sure all Absolutely. right very anyway good. because remember uh, there are three leaves it's okay. always three leaves. Three. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. There's yeah. three in a, uh, in a at group. a particular location. In a group. So at the bottom there, you have three leaves, and then further up, you have three more. Yeah. Before painting the color of the rose, 
you first want to apply neutral tint as a base. This will serve as an underpainting. Neutral tint is, it's kind of blackish, but it's not black. It's a neutral tint. It's a very beautiful shade. Okay. And you can also use that like I did with the transparent yellow. You can use it for mixing. See? With other colors. Okay. With other colors. Okay. Yes. And you it <clears throat> will keep its transparency because neutral tint is very transparent. Okay. All of these shades, oh, colors, these hues, they're all transparent. Yeah. Okay. And, and the, the goal is to make nice washes and to keep it transparent. Okay. And you want to dry it in between. Well, this is the Red Rover Challenge, and I decided to go with the red. Okay. There are different kinds of red, you know that. Right, the, of course. And on this, uh, what Dina gave me was she gave me the Windsor Red. That is a little bit more um, opaque. It's still transparent, but it's not as transpa uh, op transparent as the Alizarin crim Crimson. Okay. That's the most, uh, uh, that's, has the least, um... That's got the most uh, transparency? Yes. Out of the red? Yes. Okay. So I used the Alizarin crim Crimson, and I used the Permanent Magenta. Okay. Which is also transparent. Okay. And I also used the Permanent Violet, and you can see all those all colors. All those colors in there. Yeah, in there. I sure can. Right. Mm -hmm. Since I didn't have enough depth. And I decided to make some of the petals come forward and the way I would do that would be to have a um, the Windsor red. And if you can see oh, there's see, see the red in there? Yeah. Well that kind of sticks out and that's what I wanted. Okay. So that it uh, comes forward and makes, makes it so you can 3D. see the petals. Yeah. That's right. Make it look 3D. Red was just a little sticking out a little bit too much. So then I soothed it in, smoothed it, uh, glazed it in. With what? Uh, with the magenta and the alizarin crim. You can see with the uh, magenta and the, cris uh, the permanent violet and stuff. All of that activity now that you described got us to where we are yeah, right now. Yeah, just about. Showing the three stages of of a rose, of a rose, rose or a, a life, very you tiny know? bud to uh, a yeah. little bigger one, and then a bigger one, and then yeah. the final big one. And then the oh, final right. big one, then you know very well it starts deteriorating. Yes, and that purple right. in there kind of shows that you know this it's is not a young, to, oh, it's okay. not a young rose. So that was the okay. Yeah. 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 All right. right. Yeah. The stages. Very good. Okay. Okay. So and I believe there's a name for it. And if you know the name for it, could you please put the name of that happening in, your in, the, in the comments? Yes, yes, I would appreciate knowing what, what that's called. The birth, life, and then death of everything. And that's what I want to show. Okay. The brush is moving again, and I'm... Uh, Are you putting a red on? Well, no, you're putting a darker shade on there. That would be the magenta. Okay, and, and what is that doing for the... It's giving the highlights. It's giving highlights. A, okay. a depth, oh, not depth. highlights. Depth. Depth to the... Story. Yes. Okay. I'm trying to get the depth. And remember, I put the red on before. Yes. And that was just a little bit too much in your face. Okay. So this will show it uh, better. I mean, okay. the going down into the petal. Okay. Into the depth of okay. the petal. Into the, okay. Yes, the depth of the petal. The edges. Oh, all right. See? That makes sense, too, because as you're getting down into the petal, it gets darker. Yes, it does. Oh, so yeah. So now, now I have now to now go you, back to the, the leaves. Now you go to the leaves. Okay, now yeah. this brings up a question, because as I was watching you do this, uh, you you picked up a different brush. It's no longer a round brush. It's a flat brush, mm -hmm. or or what you call that, a, an oval. Well, no, it's just. Uh, but it's a it's a it's a very narrow, long, so that it's it's like a, a knife almost. No, if you it's thought called about the tip. A, what is the, the tip? Name is of a little it? bit like a knife. Filbert. Or an oval. You know, oh, it's a, a filbert? filbert. Yeah, That's all a filbert. Right. I thought okay, of so it. Okay, so this is a filbert. That's brush. a filbert. So, now I'm so going to put veins you, in. You do this because this allows you to make a very narrow, yes, long line. It just and it, it and it has a lot of paint in it, so that you can 
do right. this for infinitum without having to go back to the well. Yes, but it, you're just using the very center, see? Yeah, just the and tip of that paintbrush. Yes, that's yeah. right. Fly okay. all over. So, and, and, and I see that where this really defines those leaves, mm -hmm. because like the one you're doing right now, which is, is kind of a sweep to it, uh, you're yes. really getting... And did you notice I did not load my brush? It's yes, still I mean, it's the still same. Got, you still have paint there. That, that's why I'm saying. Same it, it looks yeah. like it yeah, holds. And you, when you do watercolor, you have to have brushes that hold. Hold a lot of water. Hold the, yeah. wa the water. Hold the water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See what I'm doing, right? When I do a flying around with the brush like that, I'm thinking. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know? Where and, do I go next? Right. And then the brain uh, what, says, "Okay." What needs to be where? So. Do this. Okay, yeah, so that to find that. that leaf now. Okay. Right. Get back to it now again. Hey, you're coming right along with this painting. Well, hi. Right? So what have you been doing? Well, I've been working on our next video that we're trying to release before we release this one. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's good. I should have been visiting you too. Beautiful. Your leaves really look like they're... Oh, thank They've you. got three dimensions to them. Well, so I'm glad about good. that. Then I'm not going to pick too much. No, don't pick too much more. I, uh, this especially right here is very three-dimensional. That. that is three-dimensional here very nicely. And so are these. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they, they all look like they've got the depth to them. Thank you. So when do I stop? Well, you're getting close to I'm getting close, but... The rose looks fantastic. Does it? Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, honey. You might give that a slight amount of... Oh, you... I wanted that to be faded, oh, but... Oh, well, then leave it faded. No. Then leave it that way. And, and then the other area might be just right in here, maybe. Uh, you need to... You're, but you're the artist. You've got to kind of decide that. But I... Okay. It, yeah, because that leaf there... Yeah, right. That's good. Okay. You know, I do love to have an assistant. And guess what? Yeah, that's perfect. He has been my assistant for how many years? 59. 59 years. We've been married for 59 years. Can you believe it? I. It's so hard to believe. Anything else that you see that you would like to oh, have? Oh, I think that's, that's it. How yeah. about down here? Anything? Yeah, along. yeah, right, that little corner right, right down here? there, right along that edge there, yeah. yeah that's right. what I thought. Yeah. Then we know it's a leaf. And then like that. You probably want to complete the stem right over here, the stem here. Yeah, because I like when stuff, that's kind good. Of, that's you know, you have to do what you have to do. And um, all right, so he likes to have a little bit of... All right, more finished, we can do that. It's really good to have somebody on your side. Okay, that's good, that's good. Don't do any more there now. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit of things coming no, up. Yeah, leave, leave it, it alone. No, do you want no more color things, in there? No little things coming out. It's supposed to be a faded one, you said. So. Yes. That's good, you're done. I think you're done. Okay. Sign it and you're done. All right. I can do that. Okay. Well, wow, very good. Job. Thank you. Thank you. What Helen is doing here is adding some reflective colors. The all important finishing touches. All right, now what we're gonna do is take take the tape off and do the, what, what do they call it, the reveal. Whoops. See, if you, instead of tearing it like this. Then it tears, yeah, you need to. I prefer. Well, if you pull that way, the, the tape, has the most tensile strength, and that way it doesn't tear apart. The most what? Tensile strength. Tensile strength? What is tensile strength? Well, it's the ability to 
bolt things together. Oh, well, you see. Because the tensile strength the, the harder it is to tear apart. Yeah. Well, there okay, it is. So there, there it is. Whoops. Okay. Wonderful. This is our Red Rover Art Challenge entry. Yes. I'm just the assistant, though. Of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And That's right. And, and you are the RT. I am the RT. That's she's right. So, she's, and she's very talented. At and, least in my opinion, she's well, very talented. What do you think? And don't forget, Dina will be putting together a playlist of all the Red Rover art uh, entries. And be sure to check that playlist out and check out all the artists that participated. Right. And look and see what they have provided for their entries, as well as your own, of course. And then go on her website and uh, see if you can uh, take a, make a visit to her. So we'll see you until next time. We'll see you. Goodbye. Bye.